Hello everyone, I am Mayank and welcome to Simplinus YouTube channel. Today we are diving into the fascinating world of LSTMs or long short term memory networks in the machine learning. If you are into tech and data, you probably heard about LSTMs. They are a game changer for dealing with sequential data. So what's the big deal about LSTM? Well, they are a special kind of neural network designed to handle tasks where data comes in sequence, like predicting stock prices, understanding human speech, or even translating languages. Traditional neural networks struggle with these tasks because they can't remember information over long sequence. This is where LSTMs come to the rescue. LSTMs have a unique structure with memory cells and three key gates, input, forget, and output gates. These gates work together to decide what information to keep, what information to throw away, and what to output. This clever mechanism allows LSTM to remember important details for long periods, making them super effective for tasks where context really matter. Whether it's predicting the next word in the sentence or analyzing trends in time series, LSTMs have proven to be incredibly powerful. Stick around as we explore more about how they work and why they are such a big deal in the machine learning world. In the meantime, I would like to let you know that we regularly post updates on various technologies. If you are a tech enthusiast looking for latest trend, consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and press that bell icon to never miss any update from Simply Learn. So great, let's get started. So now let's start with what the LSTM model is. Long short term memory is a type of recurrent neural network, RNN, designed to capture long-term dependencies in sequential data. LSTMs can process and analyze sequential data like time series, text, and speech. They use memory cells and gates to control information flow, allowing them to selectively retain or discard information as needed, thus avoiding the vanishing gradient problem found in traditional RNS. LSTMs are widely used in applications such as natural language processing, speech recognition, time series forecasting, and many more. Craving a career upgrade? Subscribe, like, and comment below. Dive into the link in the description to fast track your ambitions. Whether you're making a switch or aiming higher, Simply Learn has your back. So, before moving forward, as you guys know, LSTM is a concept of machine learning. And if you want to learn AI and ML from industry experts and want to gain on hands on and top industry projects, then try a Simply Learn's postgraduate program in AI and Machine Learning from Purdue University in collaboration with IBM. This course teaches in-demand skills such as Machine Learning, Deep Learning, NLP, Computer Vision, Reinforcement Learning, Chat GPT, and many more. So don't forget to check out the course link from the description box below and the pinned comment. So let's get started. So now what is RNN? RNN are a type of neural network that are designed to process sequential data. They can analyze data with temporal dimensions such as time series, speech, and text. RNN can do this by using a hidden state passed from one time step to the next. The next hidden state is updated at each other time step based on the input and the previous hidden state. RNN are able to capture short term dependencies in sequential data, but they struggle with capturing long term dependencies. Why the LSTMs are made? So moving forward, let's discuss types of LSTM gates. So LSTM models have three types of gates, the input gate, the forget gate, and the output gate. So let's first discuss the input gate. The input gate controls the flow of information into the memory cell deciding what to store. The input gate determines which values from the input should be updated in the memory cell. It uses a sigmoid activation function to scale the values between 0 and 1 and then applies pointwise multiplication to decide what information to store. Next is forget gate. Controls the flow of information out of the memory cell, deciding what to discard. The forget gate decides what information should be discarded from the memory cell. It also uses a sigmoid activation function to scale the values between 0 and 1, followed by pointwise multiplication to determine what information to forget. The last one is output gate. Controls the flow of information out of the LSTMs, deciding what to use for the output. The output gate determines the output of the LSTMs unit. It uses a sigmoid activation function to scale the values from 0 to 1, then applies pointwise multiplication to produce the output of the LSTM unit. So these gates implemented using sigmoid function are trained using backpropagation. They open and close based on the input and the previous hidden state. 
allowing the LSTM to selectively retain or discard information, effectively capturing long-term dependencies. So now let's discuss application of LSTM. LSTM models are highly effective and used in various applications, including video analysis, analyzing video frames to identify action, object, and scenes. The second is language simulation, tasks like language modeling, machine translation, and text summarization. The third one is time series prediction. So predicting future values in a time series. The fourth is voice recognition. Tasks such as speech to text transcription and command recognition. The last one is sentiment analysis. Classifying text sentiment as positive, negative or neutral. So there are many more examples of LSTM. So now let's move forward and understand LSTM model and how it works with example. Let's consider the task of predicting the next word in a sentence. This is a common application of LSTM networks in natural language processing. So I will break it down step by step using the analogy of remembering a story and deciding what comes next based on the context. So imagine you are reading a story. As you read, you need to remember what has happened so far to predict what might happen next. So let's illustrate with a simple example sentence. The cat sat on the dash. So you want to predict the next word, which could be mat or roof or something else. An LSTM network helps this make prediction by remembering important parts of the story and forgetting irrelevant details. So now let's dive into a step-by-step -step process. So a step-by-step -step explanation using LSTM. The first one is reading the story, input sequence. As you read each word in the word sentence, you process it and store relevant information. For example, the, you understand it's a determiner. Cat, you know it's a noun and the subject of the sentence. Sad, indicates the action performed by the subject. On, preposition indicating the relationship between the cat and the next noun. So this sequence diagram showing the words being read and processed. So second comes forget kit. As you move through the sentence, you might decide that some details are no longer important. For instance, you might decide that knowing the is less important now that you have cat and said. So the word forget gate help discard this less important information. So this sequence diagram you can see on the screen showing how relevant information is discarded. So the third one, input gate. When you read on, you need to decide how relevant this information is. So this sequence diagram in the screen is showing how new information is integrated with the last one. Okay, the fourth one is the cell state, memory part. So this is like your memory of the story so far. It carries information about the subject cat and the action set on. So it updates the new information as you read each word. Okay, the cat set on the retaining the important context. So this sequence diagram showing how the memory is updated with the new information. So the last one is output gate. When you need to predict the next word, the output gate helps you decide based on the current memory, cell state. So it uses the context, the cat set on the. So the predict the next word might be mat because cat and mat are often associated with the context. So it can predict anything, the cat sat on the table or on the sofa, anything. But mat, why I'm saying mat? Because cat and mat are often associated in the same context. So this diagram is showing the prediction of the next word based on the current memory. So there are many applications where you can use LSTM in predictive time series or next word in the sentence. So by the using of LSTM gates, input gate, forget gate, and output gate, and the updating the cell state, the network can predict the next word in a sequence by maintaining relevant context and discarding unnecessary information. This step-by-step -step process allows LSTM network to effectively handle sequence and make accurate prediction based on the context. So with this, we have come to end of this video. If you have any questions or doubt, please ask in the comment section below. Our team of experts will help you as soon as possible. Thank you and keep learning with Simply Learn. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.